Meltroner Ministries cutting the ribbon on a nearly $15 million renovation to their Heartside facility this morning. News 8's Joe Lafergie takes us inside for a look at the changes and how they'll help people break the homeless cycle. The layout here inside Mel Trotter hasn't changed much since they moved into this building in 1968, but the way they carry out their mission has. Now a Mel Trotter employee and living in transitional housing, Gino Heth is proof the cycle can be broken. It helps you restore your dignity a lot here. Um, they help build you up, you versus tear you down. And that's what this campaign was about. Creating success for people like Heth is one of the ideas behind the $14.9 million renovations at Mel Trotter. It's been years in the making, and it takes on a new approach to homeless housing. Less warehouse, more home. So two people will have this room, and they'll share it. And then on the other side, there's a room identical to this with two people. Giving someone something as simple as a little privacy provides them with dignity. Dignity plays a role in everything from getting help for substance abuse and mental health problems, competing for job training, and goal setting. So we found the nicer we make our facilities, the more quickly people actually move on to their own housing because they finally feel loved and valued and like they're worthy of something more. Along with the dorm style rooms, area hospitals, universities and other community organizations have partnered with Mel Trotter to triple the size of the mission's medical clinic. There are expanded behavioral health, vision and dental care services. Mel Trotter's sobering center, which has helped keep people fighting addiction, stay out of the hospital for the past two decades, has also benefited from the renovations. They send providers on site that can meet with our guests and they can help them with preventative medicine, they can help them with issues that they might experience um, and they can also help them get connected to the health system. The mix of a more dignified approach to housing, physical and mental health care options and job training programs Mel Trotter offers are all part of the goal of getting the homeless off the streets and successfully on their own. It really is about meeting people exactly where they are and not prescribing for them what they need to do, but actually figuring out what they want to do because you cannot help anyone that doesn't want help. So our approach uh, has changed to say, why are you here? What are you willing to do to leave here? And how can we help you accomplish that? If you want to help Mel Trotter continue to carry out their mission, we have a link to their website at woodtv.com. In Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, News 8.